Vision Transformer emerged as a competitive alternative to convolutional neural networks that are currently state-of-the-art in computer vision and widely used for different image recognition tasks. VIT models outperform the current state-of-the-art CNNs by almost four times in terms of computational efficiency and accuracy. Attention mechanisms combined with RNNs were the predominant architecture for facing any task involving text until 2017, when a paper was published and changed everything, giving birth to the now widely used transformers. The paper was entitled Attention is All You Need. A transformer is a deep learning model that adopts the self-attention mechanism differentially weighting the significance of each part of the input data. Transformers are increasingly the model of choice for NLP problems, replacing RNN models such as long short-term memory. Transformers differed from recurrent neural networks in the following ways. First, transformers are non-sequential, in contrast to RNNs that take in sequential data. For example, if my input is a sentence, RNNs will take one word at a time as input. This isn't the case for transformers. They can take all the words of the sentence as input. Second, transformers use the attention mechanism. It is called the attention mechanism because transformers understand the context and can access past information. RNNs can access past information only to a certain extent, mostly only the previous state. The information gets lost in the following states. Third, transformers use positional embeddings to store information regarding the position of words in a sentence. BERT stands for Bidirectional Encoder Representation from Transformers, and it was released on October 28. As the name suggests, BERT is a bidirectional model. The attention mechanism can attend to both directions of the current token, left and right. This is because BERT is made by stacking together 12 encoders, meaning it is an encoder-only model. Encoders can take the full sentence as the input and reference any sentence word to perform the task. BERT consists of 110 million parameters. Like GPT, it was trained on a specific task and can be fine-tuned for other tasks. In other words, the task used to pre-train BERT was to fill in the blanks. Before diving deep into how vision transformers work, we must understand the fundamentals of attention and multi-head attention presented in the original transformer paper. The transformer is a model proposed in the paper attention is all you need. It is a model that uses a mechanism called self-attention, which is neither a CNN nor an LSTM and builds a transformer model to outperform existing methods significantly. The attention mechanism used in the transformer uses three variables, query, key, and value. Simply put, it calculates the attention weight of a query token and a key token and multiplies the value associated with each key. In short, it calculates the association between the query token and the key token and multiplies the value associated with each key. Defining the Q, K, and V calculation as a single head, the multi-head attention mechanism is defined as follows. The attention mechanism in the above figure uses Q and K still. In the multi-head attention mechanism, each head has its projection matrix and calculate the attention weights using the feature values projected using these matrices. The intuition behind multi-head attention is that it allows us to attend to different parts of the sequence differently each time. This practically means that the model can better capture positional information because each head will attend to different input segments. The combination of them will give us a more robust representation. Each head will also capture different contextual information by uniquely correlating words. In VITS, images are represented as sequences, and class labels for the image are predicted, which allows models to learn image structure independently. Input images are treated as a sequence of patches where every patch is flattened into a single vector by concatenating the channels of all pixels in a patch and then linearly projecting it to the desired input dimension. The Vision Transformer Architecture Steps Step 1 Split an image into patches Step 2 Flatten the patches Step 3 Produce lower dimensional linear embeddings from the flattened patches Step 4 Add positional embeddings Step 5 Feed the sequence as an input to a standard transformer encoder Step 6 Pertrain the model with image labels Step 7 Fine-tune on the downstream dataset for image classification There are multiple blocks in the VIT encoder, and each block consists of three major processing elements Layer Norm, Multi-Head Attention Network and Multi-Layer Perceptrons MLP. Layer Norm keeps the training process on track and lets the model adapt to the variations among the training images. Multi-Head Attention Network is a network responsible for generating attention maps from the given embedded visual token. These attention maps help the network focus on the most critical regions in the image, such as objects. The concept of attention maps is the same as that found in the traditional computer vision literature. MLP is a two-layer classification network with Gaussian error linear unit at the end. 
The final MLP block also called the MLP head, is used as an output of the transformer. An application of softmax on this output can provide classification labels. The VIT model represents an input image as a series of image patches, like the series of word embeddings used when using transformers to text, and directly predicts class labels for the image. Vision Transformer has been gaining momentum in recent years. The main difference between CNN and VIT. First, VIT has more similarity between the representations obtained in shallow and deep layers compared to CNNs. Second, unlike CNNs, VIT obtains the global representation from the shallow layers, but the local representation obtained from the shallow layers is also important. Third, skip connections in VIT are even more influential than in CNNs and substantially impact the performance and similarity of representations. Fourth, VIT retains more spatial information than ResNet. Fifth, VIT can learn high-quality intermediate representations with large amounts of data. Sixth, MLP mixer's representation is closer to VIT than to ResNet.